With us a half hour ago, you know that we are talking about heart health this month and this morning. Talked with the doctor and he said one of the things you can do is include vegetables and fish in your diet. Well, how do you do that? Let's talk to Tanya Skeeter, the salad lady who is here with a salad that includes vegetables and fish. Perfect. Yes, it's a very simple uh, dish to make so anyone can make it and, and enjoy the, the benefits of a healthy salad for this month. One of the things that, that I have heard time and time again is the more color in yes. your meal, more likely the, the better it is for you. The better the nutrition, uh, even when you see bright colored fruits, they're sweeter, they're riper, yep. and they have greater content of nutrition in it. So. And we hear so much about the benefits of, of fish like salmon. And this is a salmon that's baked. Yep. Um, I don't use canned salmon, I like to use fresh salmon. And I'm going to ask you to help me make this salad. I can do that. We're just going to pile some big lumps of salmon that's right on that chilled. leaf the leaf of lettuce already laid out there yes with some nice croutons and some croutons with uh, boston lettuce okay and if you will start from the left here we're going to use some celery and, celery. and sprinkle a little on there all right this yeah is, that's you know, good these are always fun and i have young kids it's always fun when you can get a meal that the kids can get involved in oh making. they would love to do this right this we is... can just get them to eat salmon exactly they'll love making this making the salad why not a little onion a little onion all right we're going to move to some bell pepper, which you can use red and green as a combination or just one color. Once again, color, um, though. The color makes a difference. It's appealing to the eye, and you we're going to make it taste good. You eat with your eyes, good. right? Then I'm using some capers. All right. And we'll add just a little bit of that uh, because they've come in a little bit of vinegar, so they can be a little tart. Okay. Uh, let's try the grape tomatoes first. All I right. recommend the tomatoes because that really causes bursts of color to come out of the salmon. And then we're going to do some uh, fresh dill. Right, being a little fresh dill. All right, and, and it's always you know, if you on. can get the fresh, it's better than the the dried stuff, yes, right? Yes, absolutely. All right, and you got uh, you got a new venture opening up, right? Yes, I do. Tell us a little about that. I'm so excited. I'm opening my first cafe in mm -hmm. Derby, Connecticut, and it's going to be opening in March. I'm expecting the first week of March. All right. Um, Perfect spring salads, right? Yes, yeah, salads, wraps, paninis. Um, we're going to have all kinds of great gourmet food and just healthy food. And heart healthy, that's the idea. Look at this. I mean, simple. How long did that take? What? Not even five not, minutes. Not even. Not, we didn't have five minutes. So we didn't have five minutes. Exactly. That's right. That's right. Uh, we'll put this recipe for you online if you were kind of paying attention and jotting down what the details. We've got it there for you at the Good Morning Connecticut Weekend section of the website. Tanya Skeeter, the salad lady, thanks for being here. We appreciate it. Thank